queens, welcome back to Confessions of a 30-something Drama Queen, your weekly girl therapy session with me, your host, Susie Bernaldi, a girl who is in no way qualified to be giving any form of therapy and is also not a doctor, which is a very important factor given what we are going to be talking about in today's episode, which is coming off the pill. Good morning, everybody. It is a beauty prep day and I'm going to be really honest with you, I need this. I'm not feeling fantastic at the moment, just in myself, it, emotionally, I'm grumpy. I know that a little bit of TLC is going to help lift me and tomorrow I have a really fun event to go to and I wanna look really good. So we are going to be tanning. I am probably gonna wash my hair as well later just to make sure I'm feeling absolutely fresh. We're gonna be masking. I am just gonna be doing the full shebang on my face today. After the past couple of weeks, I actually think I just need a little bit of a TLC day for myself. The calendar has been wild. So we're gonna take the rings off. They need to be gone because I'm about to give my face a little wash. Oh God. That is an accurate representation of my life right now. I hope your weekends were good. It's actually Monday when I'm filming this. So that's why I'm, I'm saying this because actually when you see this, oh no, it'll be Sunday. So I can still say, I hope your weekends have been good so far mine was good i basically i had to cancel all of my plans and i stayed at home with shrimpy because if you haven't seen the last vlog she was sick but it was just basically blood which is definitely concerning you know i i was i lost it i fully lost it i think given the age that she's at i just fully freak out now like i'm useless i actually was like panicking and i was like oh my god how am i ever gonna have children if i lose it this much over my dog obviously the dog is my child so that's why it's basically the same or it is in my head right now anyway mums don't come for me but yeah i was really freaking out so i cancelled all of my plans i was meant to go to london for fashion week i was meant to go to victoria and alex's house for alex's birthday i did nothing i stayed at home and i monitored i took the dog to the vets obviously as soon as it had happened and then i cancelled all my plans and i spent the rest of the weekend watching over her like a hawk and also monitoring her as she pooped so yeah a great weekend i hope you guys can't see the state that my mirror is in i Someone came to stay recently and I think they had an accident with their toothbrush. But anyway, it was actually kind of a good weekend because I, there's nothing I love more in life than spending the weekend on the sofa with my dog. So in that sense, great weekend. The circumstances, not so great. Okay, we have cleansed. I'm about to apply a little bit of serum. This is the Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. And this is my go-to hydrating serum at the moment. It's lovely. And then we are going to do a bit of multitasking. I am going to mask whilst I clean my kitchen, but I'm going to mask like you have never seen me mask before because I have been using something new and fun and it is taking me from feeling like a little shriveled up baked potato to a hot girl. But you're gonna have to trust the process with me, okay? I feel like the theme for this week's vlog, or this vlog in particular, is red, FYI. Look at this. Babes, nine people on the hen, correct? Correct, what has she got up her sleeve? I'm so excited for us all right now. Okay, so I promised you something fun and I, <laughs> I really meant it. This is the current body. Oh my God, I can't take myself seriously doing this. It's so funny. This is the current body LED light therapy mask. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, I literally can't take myself seriously. I need to take a photo. So let me tell you about this mask. This mask combines red and near infrared light therapy that helps to calm redness, increase collagen production, improves the skin tone and increases circulation. It is a magic mask that looks terrifying, but also is so portable because you don't plug it in to anything. You charge up this little thing and then you can literally just walk around the house doing a face mask at the same time. Like some of my friends have like big ones that they sit under and they have to like sit. I like to be productive. I like to multitask. I like, and this is like multitasking at its finest. I just think it's so fun. It's so comfortable to wear. Like it's really flexible. Like as you will have seen when I was putting it on, it's got a little strap at the back. I don't know if you can see, it probably looks a mess. What's going on at the back is none of my business. And, so, and once you click this on, it has like a 10 minute timer. It turns itself off, stunning. I actually have a 15% off discount code, which is Susie LED. I will pop it on the screen 
just in case it changes, always use the one that we put on the screen. But apparently their study showed that it reduced wrinkles by 35% in four weeks. And let me tell you, I'm so excited to continue using this because apparently after four weeks, I'm not yet at the four week mark. So I'm excited to look like a fresh fetus, hopefully. Like I feel like I look good already, but like my forehead could use some help. So I'm excited to see how I look. If I start looking stunning in four weeks, just know it's this. And my final thing is I am living my Emily in Paris dream right now because she used this. She uses this at the beginning of, I think it's season three, when she's like trying to tell her boss that she needs to quit. Love. So we are going to do this this morning before I start my tan. I actually still need to go and clean my kitchen. So we are going to mask and clean my kitchen together. Ready? Whoa. I came in for. <laughs> and just like that, we are done. Okay, I now have the weirdest craving to watch Emily in Paris. Like, it's actually concerning how addicted I am to that TV show. Like, one mention of it, and I have to watch it. I am obsessed. Anyway, well, oh, we're a little bit bumpy, but those will lift out in a second. That is it for me in the mask for today. You can wipe the mask clean as well after you're done. Like, it's really easy to just wipe it clean but yeah as i was showing you earlier like super flexible really easy to travel with i've seen so many people using this on airplanes and i love that idea so much like that is just i am a sucker for wearing face masks on planes and that is like peak scare everybody around you i love that i don't know about you but my forehead is looking pretty good pretty shiny i'm gonna take a photo once my little bumps are out of my skin but i did take a before photo and i feel like you can really see texture in my forehead like obviously i don't have wrinkles like some of the, I, I can put in some of the before and afters that current body have shown me but obviously they're not on my skin but i've seen the befores and afters of skin that is more mature than mine and the effects do seem to be really really effective but yeah for me there's not so much texture going on on my forehead as there would normally be like you can really see in my before photo that there's a lot of forehead texture so i do feel like it's doing good things slowly slowly i am going to be really religious with it especially in the run-up to the wedding Hopefully I will be glowy and juicy and a plump little non-red, non-wrinkly bean by the time we get to the wedding. But like I said, if you want to grab one for yourself, I have a 15% off discount code. But now I've done that, we're gonna do the rest of my skincare. So the moisturizer I have been loving at the moment is the Clayopo Emotion Protective Fortifying Emulsion. I really like this. I find the pump on this so satisfying. By the way, you do not need a full pump. It pumps out so much, like I could do my entire face neck chest arms with a full pump but it like gives me all the same vibes as magic cream but just like lighter it smells kind of similar like it's got a lighter smell but it's still that very similar kind of like gorgeous clay de pose smell but instead of being like 500 pounds it's 100 pounds and you get 125 mil in this which is i that's such a giant amount of moisturizer i love it it also has spf 20 in it which i really like do not use this at night i had to recently <laughs> i was in a bit of a desperate situation but i wouldn't advise using something with spf in it at night but for the daytime it's an amazing daytime moisturizer i love it and then i'm gonna be using the drunk elephant ceramite af eye balm love I've talked about this to death. Just really enjoying my skincare routine at the moment. I kind of wish I'd done another mask, like a hydrating mask, but I think the light mask has done good things, so I don't really feel like I need it. SPF as always. I'm gonna go on a walk this afternoon. So this is an essential. And finally, some hand cream, because I am washing my hands way too much at the moment. My hands are so dry. So we are hand creaming it literally every opportunity. It's now part of my skincare routine in the mornings. I went for a red nail, what do I think? I saw Amelia and then I got such bad FOMO about my nails. Okay, tan, what are we using? So we have a new tan in the world. I am very excited to try this. However, I don't know if 
today is the moment because I, one of my cardinal rules of tanning, by the way, I'm going to do a whole podcast episode on tanning because I actually feel like I could fill more than a 30 minute slot talking about tan. Like I have actually done a YouTube video if you don't want to see me completely go into depth about every do, every don't of tanning because I swear by these rules and whenever someone says to me, my tan's patchy, I go through that checklist and I'm like, you 100% have done something on this list because it is a foolproof list if you don't want any patches, any streaks on your tan, ever, ever, ever. Like I disobeyed one of my rules recently. It was bad. My rules are there for a reason. Anyway, this is for a deep, for a natural deep olive tan, eight hour bronzing mousse. And it looks so good. But anyway, one of my cardinal rules of tanning is do not use a new tan when you have something coming up and you need to look good and look your best because if it's a new tan you don't know how the texture is, how it performs. Like formula is king and being used to a formula is king. So I'm going to use this but not today. I will report back. Now I did use this one the other day and I, I really loved it. This was what I was wearing when Ryan and I went out for Valentine's Day. It was so good. However, I have to leave this on for eight hours on the skin and I need to wash my hair today and I don't want to be washing my hair at like crazy o'clock. Actually, it's still the morning. I could still, mm, I could still. However, I also want to walk and I want to put proper clothes on. So I'm thinking the Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse because you can leave this on for one to three hours. I could just pop this on for three hours and then rinse it off and then go for a walk and it would still be daylight. So I'm thinking this. Yes, yeah. I'm happy with that decision. Yes. Yeah. Okay, three pumps on the mitt and then it will do one area. So like I do three pumps for one arm, three pumps for my chest, three pumps for my torso, like midriff, whatever you want to call it. Three pumps for my calf, three pumps for my thigh. Do one pump per butt cheek. Like I said, if you want a podcast episode, please let me know because nothing would fill me with joy more than talking about tan. It's like my favorite subject but also i have a youtube video if you want to go and watch that and get my tips as well okay that is literally my arms are literally as much as i can do without being demonetized so i will be right back oh my gosh you guys not me answering the door to my postman like this he was trying so hard like he was smiling but like you, you know when you can tell someone is trying not to laugh good morning everybody she is tanned doesn't look like it because it's so gloomy in here today but i am tanned skin is also looking nice and glowy today i can't tell because it hasn't been long enough i do feel like there's a good amount of shininess to my forehead and my skin is better today it's not having its best time at the moment but i do feel like there is just a visible improvement in my skin and has been happening over like the past week so tbc i will keep you updated but i feel like i feel good i feel good like my forehead just isn't as textured as normal and i feel like around here i've seen a big improvement like my overall this cheek area just looks more i don't know there's just something like the texture is definitely has massively improved over the last week like massively i'm not wearing any spf or anything right now this is just my raw skin raw skin I don't, mm, maybe not that wording, but this is my raw skin. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good. So I'm about to get some makeup onto this face because this evening we are going to dinner with Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm very excited about. The dress code is reds and pinks. Pink, not my kind of thing. I don't really have that many pink dresses. However, red, we'll give that a go. So I have a new dress to unbox with you, hopefully. Fingers crossed it's okay because I still haven't opened it. This could be a disaster, who knows? But first, makeup and hair loading so this is my outfit of the evening absolutely nothing to see here nothing to see here. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah you can understand why i'm wearing the full length black coat on the train up i really don't want to be stared at the shoes are enough <laughs> so my hair is looking very very ringlety i'm about to brush it out like right before i go into the dinner because i want this to hold and the weather is awful today so i'm basically just going to go to the station with a scarf wrapped around my head like the gen z's are doing really love using a scarf as a hood by the way and pray that it holds basically because the weather is dire 
but this dress is from Odd Muse. It's so cute. I got a size extra small for reference if anyone's had their eye on this and isn't sure. I erred on the side of caution, went for the extra small because I just find now I'd rather something be just a little bit like tight. I can deal with that, I don't really mind, but if it's too loose, it's just, it doesn't work. So I went for an extra small and it fit, it's, it's got room, which I wasn't expecting. So I think the sizing is actually really nice and generous, which makes a refreshing change from most brands. I wish my boobs filled it a bit better, but they just, they just don't. I really struggle when it's strapless as well, because strapless bras just don't really stay up on me. Unless something is fully like corseted, there was nothing to see here. But yeah, it's really cute. I love the silhouette. I have been wanting to try out one of their dresses for ages, because they're really well known for this silhouette, and I've gone for these little flower shoes on the bottom really nice because they're not high at all these are from asos i've had them a while i think they may have sold out so sorry if you love them and can't get your hands on them i'm really sorry but i think they're so cute and i've been waiting for the perfect outfit to wear them i just knew i knew there would come a point where they would come in handy and today is the day i love it i love this dress i like i really like how where it hits it hits a really flattering point on my legs it's really cute i feel like a poly pocket I'm very aware that some of you won't remember poly pockets were at that point but anyway i'm also taking my olympia the tan bag and the earrings I've got on are from Aurelia and then my usual rings this one is from Astrid Amiu the big chunky one is Monica Vinader but they've stopped doing it sadly the little pinky ring was also old Astrid Amiu they don't do it anymore they basically don't do any of the good stuff right now I don't know what's going on all of the pieces I wear are sadly out of stock but anyway oh and my necklace I've got this tiny dainty heart necklace on and that is also from Aurelia it matches the earrings I didn't know if the earrings would be too much with the shoes but i actually think they just work which i'm really happy with it's, it's giving valentine's <laughs> it's giving late valentine's and i love it that is the theme of this week to be fair everything the theme for everything is red and pink this week you will you'll see i've also gone for tom ford cherry smoke this is unreal when i wear this i basically feel like the luxury version of like dr pepper i smell <laughs> incredible is that selling this to anyone <laughs> If you love the smell of cherry, you will love this, I promise. So I have the regular one, I can't remember what it's called, cherry something. But cherry smoke is basically like a darker, as the name would suggest, slightly smokier version and I just adore it for nights out. tip for you all that i have just discovered if you don't want to wear foundation but you still want like the glow that foundation gives you and that like nice juicy skin take your tinted spf put it on your face as per usual i obviously do that every day but the glow from that doesn't really last once it sets it's kind of just more of a natural finish just put this on like no no concealer no foundation nothing to actually really set i have put bronzer <laughs> on my nose because I just always put bronzer on my nose, but I sprayed this over the top of my tinted SPF and it has just given like the nicest, juiciest, glowiest skin. No foundation. So if you're one of those girls, you like to roll out of bed, you tint your brows, lift your lashes or have lash extensions. You don't generally want to wear makeup on a daily basis, but you want like really nice looking skin. Get this and just missed. I mean, there are probably other setting sprays, but this is my favorite. This is my absolute fave. It gives the best glow. Fully, fully obsessed with this. I feel like God created humans and then he created this, you know? I could not recommend this highly enough. Like I just keep finding new wonderful ways to use it. Like my, look at my cheeks, they just look so glowy. So yeah, that is my sermon of the day. That is the discovery of the year for me. I'm probably gonna end up going foundation free a lot now. It basically gives like the glow that I want from a foundation, but without having to actually put layers and layers of foundation on. Wonderful. Oh my god, you guys, today is such a fun post day. Not me over the moon about a shampoo delivery. There's nothing in this world that I love 
more than new shampoos and conditioners. So this is the L'Oreal LV sulfate free glycolic gloss shampoo and I've got the conditioner as well. I really like this shampoo and conditioner. Like if you don't want to spend a lot on your shampoos and conditioners, the original ones of these I love. I am really excited to try these. It's for dull, porous hair, which I feel like is everything that my hair has been since the day I was born. Very non-shiny naturally, like the natural texture of my hair is just like, it's very, it's not even coarse, it is just, it doesn't give anything. It's incredibly porous as well. So I am really excited to try these. But you guys will know I love the Kerastase gloss and I use that so much still to this day. I've gone through so many of them. They also have done the, like the mask in a five minute lamination rinse off seals cuticles with a lasting shine glaze i'm so excited to try this wow and then there's a serum as well leave-in serum oh let's try i just love the fact it's pink as well like the brands be really understanding the assignment lately i want everything to be pink oh it smells so good it's hard to tell because i need a hairbrush so badly we are at the end of the day but i feel like that's worked really nicely anyway they also sent a gloss which is so nice this looks it's such a good colour. I love that they sent a gloss because it's like a gloss range. That's so cute. Oh my god, I love the smell of this. Mmm, that's a really nice colour. Not sticky at all. Oh my god, this gloss is so good. It is the shade I saw, like S-O-A-R, shade 402. Mmm, and it's a little bit tingly. Do you know what it's really reminding me of? Hang on. It's giving my favourite, or one of my favourite lip glosses. It's giving this. Yeah dupe i like that a lot speaking of dior what is it what is inside oh what is this little thing is this a makeup bag this is cute oh we have a tote everything is red at the moment like red has really been the color of my life this month anyway cute oh we have a new miss dior fragrance i haven't smelled miss dior in years an amber woody version hmm love that oh my god so nice. Oh my god, it's so cold today. All of my rings are spinning. Goodbye. <laughs> so I've had enough. Anyway. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, well, the bottle has had an upgrade. That's so nice. Oh my god, I haven't smelled this in years. I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to really bring back some memories. Like when I went to Dior, to Paris with Dior, this is going to oh wow that's so oh my god if any of you have been following me for a very 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 long time like incredibly long time there was a victor and rolf scent that i love that was like limited edition and they've never made it they haven't made it since like 2008 or something like that it's kind of giving a bit of that like it's really beautifully fruity but there's like almost like a pepperiness it's so lovely i think that might be my favorite misty or ever so oh my god so good the bow so cute anyway thank you very much to dior for sending that thank you to l'oreal a lot for the shampoos love you do you know what also smells really good though in this room this bag i don't know what they i don't know what they sprayed it with it smells incredible i have a lot of charlotte tilbury there are a lot of lipsticks in here wow no no this is i'm oh my god you guys i'm not okay for this this is my goodie bag. <laughs> this is so fun. So I think that, oh my God, there's new lip liners. Oh my God. Are they all new or some of them? I don't, I don't honestly. Oh my God. So there's like lip liners to go with the new lipsticks. This is so exciting. There are so many good colors. There is one that is it for me. Where, where are you? This one, Icon Baby look at that this is a me color now it's obviously going to be a bit glossier because there is gloss on my lips oh my god that is so good and there's a lip liner that goes with it right what are you saying love new charlotte tilbury lipsticks nothing makes me happier oh yeah that's so nice oh my god yes love this color i'm going to swatch this for you on my hand just so you can really like see so the lip liner is slightly more brown oh let's see how it compares to iconic nude <laughs> iconic nude needs a 
Needs a sharpen. Okay, so to compare, this is Iconic Nude. This is the Icon Baby Lip Liner. So it's like a pinkier version of Iconic Nude. And then we've got like the most incredible warm light pink. Yes, that is a bit of me. There's lots of reds as well. I don't wear a red all the time, but I do. Oh my God, the packaging. It's like the Iconic Gold packaging, but in this beautiful hollywood red color oh my god wow i'm real charlotte darling if you could bring back 1975 red though because that has long been my ultimate favorite lipstick you've ever done that would be wonderful thank you but yeah if you're gonna buy one icon baby would be my chosen one. Oh my god there are so many how would you choose such great pink colors like i've never seen tilbury do pink colors like this before mm, candy chic this must be quite i'm gonna say bright maybe oh that's so nice wow that's such a nice summery pink for summer candy chic for now icon baby two stunning nude lips run do not walk they need to go wipe this off now good morning shrimp she's here to let you all know that she's feeling better thank you oh. I love you so much. I love you so much. Yes, I do. Good morning, everybody. I have just been doing some wedding planning this morning. We are now fully registered for, is it registered? Like we've, we've registered to give notice. We've booked our appointment to give notice. Very exciting. If you're not from the UK, I don't know if that'll mean anything to you, but it's basically where they make sure that you're a natural couple. Kind of like in the proposal, which one of my favorite wedding films, by the way. I still feel so, behind on wedding planning like I really need to get my bum into gear like we have everything down on paper now but I'm just feeling like I just feel like I need a good afternoon to like go at it and oh my god we haven't even booked like our accommodation for our wedding it's really stressing me like other people we haven't even oh my, we haven't done the invites like we're just doing a wedding website we haven't done that yet but people are starting to book and i'm like oh my god you guys are stressing me so much i have not even booked my accommodation for my wedding yet which is probably a good thing by the way because we had our first wedding disaster <gasps> i have to laugh I have to laugh. So we obviously have not done the wedding website yet, but there are some family members that are just super, super organized. They want to be booked and that is fine. However, we on our wedding website is going to have all of the like where to stay, blah, blah, blah. This is what we're doing. Like all the, all the details. My mum and dad are probably the most organized people on God's earth. And it's kind of ironic because they then birthed me. The human tornado is how how does that happen if you are a therapist out there and you would like to explain to me how that happens i would love to know so they book their accommodation they call me they're like this is what we're doing we have booked we are not waiting any longer for all of the info we've decided to just go ahead and book everything ourselves we're gonna stay for a week we're gonna stay from this date till this date and i was like yeah cool okay great sounds great send me i literally know every hotel in the area send me the hotel and i'll just like make sure that it's up to standard because they were like we've never been to this place like blah 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 and they send me the screenshots through and it is the hotel that ryan and i had planned to stay in for our honeymoon and the duration in which they are staying there runs over our honeymoon so basically my parents are coming with me on my honeymoon <sighs> so fortunately i have not booked my accommodation i'm so grateful for being a chaotic mess in this moment we have not booked the accommodation yet so we have had to change our accommodation plans for our honeymoon my parents are more stubborn than i am so we would all be going on honeymoon together has anyone done that how did it go would love to know like let me let me know how that turned out for you personally not for me it's not the romantic honeymoon vibes that i have been wanting so when you all eventually see me on my honeymoon enjoy viewing that knowing the backstory let's hope that's where the wedding drama ends anyway this morning I wanted to show you, I have a Cezanne order. It's 
got my address on the front so I can't show you the full box but the boxes when you order from them are so beautiful like I they're iconic I know them immediately when I see them when my friend Kate was staying in Ryan's house she used to get orders from them delivered there and I so heavily associate these boxes with her look at this it's just so beautiful such gorgeous packaging now some of the stuff on Suzanne is quite like feminine not always my style but they're basics like they're more basic pieces are really gorgeous like more elevated basics rather than being like mega plain so i saw this cardigan like this black little fitted situ and i really liked it like the knit on it is so you're not gonna be able to see this at all but the knit on it is a really beautiful pattern it's all like crisscrossy braided kind of vibes it's like this really cute button down situation love that i also saw this shirt and this is me kind of getting a bit ahead of myself but i thought this would be an unreal shirt for the summer it's this beautiful linen with a like brown and white stripe i just love it like this with a blue pair of straight leg or like slim jeans and a pair of sandals would be so stunning i also have this leopard print coat i think i might send the asos one back because it's just a bit i don't know it just didn't feel like it fitted amazingly i saw this print and it's just a little bit more chic there's something about the leopard print on this like it's a bit more muted it's obviously not been like printed onto a faux fur it feels a little bit more understated and like a bit more neutral and i don't know i thought i would give this a go it didn't look this long on the website but it's actually quite a long coat but i think that's gonna work really well for me it's giving me flashbacks to a look that nuri wore during fashion week i will pop her instagram here nuri at fashion week is one of my favorites her style is so cool obviously some not something that i can really replicate i don't feel like it suits my personal style however i love the leopard print with the all black and the bun i just thought it was really cool and i think this with like a black pair of jeans and just like my uggs would be so nice so i'm excited to give this a go so this is the cardigan i really like it i love the way it's it is designed by the way it's not too small it's designed to open up in the middle i think it just makes it a little bit more interesting than your classic black v-neck cardigan i already have a v-neck cardigan it's a little bit bigger than this a little bit more oversized but just kind of that perfect everyday basic black cardigan whereas this is perfect for like something that's not so everyday for example if you're someone that doesn't really like to dress up for dinners but you want a basic piece that's a little bit more interesting i think this is amazing for me this is just like the perfect jeans and a nice cardigan a nice top combo so i've got my holland cooper straight leg jeans on I've just got a pair of boots i've actually popped these ones on just to make it a little bit spicy i do not get enough wear out of these but i love them this is why i like having an open wardrobe you guys i can see all of my stuff all at once it's very good for my brain yeah i just love it i love it paired with like big gold jewelry i think it's really nice so this is going to be a really nice little staple in my wardrobe i don't want to alarm anyone but this might be the most perfect shirt i've ever tried on the fit is perfect i don't feel the need to tuck it i also don't feel the need to put it open perfect length perfect slouchiness i will be running to order this in every color before you guys see this if they do this in white it will be the perfect white shirt Suzanne, dark horse for a perfect shirt love this for me okay i just need to make sure we're all on the same page like are we seeing the vision though i just i just think it's so nice like such a nice spring look with the sunnies and the low bun vintage earrings i changed the earrings i actually think the little buttons work really nicely there was too much stripe going on with the other ones i love it i could do a brown belt as well that would be really nice i love it with my sliders my teddy sliders so yeah this is it tucked but i also have a different vision please hold okay so nice with a white jean i've gone for lighter brown sunnies cute little brown clip in the hair we've got a back tuck so it's just falling loose at the front i love the shirt i am going to wear this all the live long summer thoughts this one is nicer isn't it than the faux fur one from asos oh i don't know what do you think i definitely think this one looks more expensive and i actually think the length is maybe a bit better especially with the jeans that i like to wear i would love to hear your thoughts i know leopard print is a divider i personally love it but it has to be right and i actually i think this jacket is is better i think because it's just more of a neutral it just looks a bit more chic what do we think 
guys the moment of truth we are using icon baby in daylight just about oh my god a new favorite tilbury liner so you may be wondering why are you so dressed up what are you doing and the answer to that is i am actually hosting a girly dinner the theme is cute like everything cute you'll understand when you see it so we are getting dressed up we're having dinner together they're gonna spend the evening braiding all of my beauty stuff oh my god this lipstick is so good mm. love 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 Mm. This is my outfit of the evening. I last showed you this dress in like November as part of a haul. If you haven't seen it, I will link it. I had some great pieces in that haul, including this dress. It has like a low back situ. It's long. It's like the perfect length for me. Five foot two, by the way, for reference, if you are new here. I'm wearing it with my teddy sliders. And then I've got my Aurelia heart necklace and heart earrings in. I've been wearing clip-ins all day, so I wanna just give my ears a little bit of a break. They also just match the theme so well. My rings are the usual suspects, which are out of stock everywhere, sadly. Topped off with a wonderful little hair clip because I have a bit of hair that is just misbehaving. But yeah, that's the outfit of the evening. I can't wait until the weather gets warmer and I can wear this out in the evening with like bags like this. It's just so fun. I love it. Okay, I have picked some liners and lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury for the girls and I'm gonna put them on the dinner table. What's well, seeing as pink and red is the vibe, these would be perfect. This is the table set up. I am obsessed. It's just so fun. I love it. I'm giving the girls a pink and a red each. So for Lucy, I have Mark of a Kiss. And what was the other one? Both of her lip liners actually match. Mark, Mark of a Kiss and 90s pink. She is quite olive-y, olive, olive undertoned. So those two work really well for her. And then for Ellie, she is more fair and she can wear more like rosy colors, like really beautiful pinks. I've got her Hollywood Vixen, the new lipstick, and then red carpet pink. And then her lip liners, they don't match, but I've got her Super Size Me and what was the red? Red carpet red. This is so cute, I hope they love them. So we have got my adorable Oliver bonus glasses ready for gins if the girls want them. I'm gonna be trying this Gordon's gin. I'm loving like orangey gins at the moment, so I'm gonna give that one a go. Oh, and also look at this pasta. We got this for Christmas as a jokey gift. Was it jokey or was it just, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it wasn't a joke, but I thought, what better time to use it because it's just sat in the cupboard for like two months now so i'm going to cook that cook some meatballs i know this is not a meatball appropriate outfit but we're just gonna hope for the best maybe i'll change i actually do have like a red set of leggings and a top from fabletics so i could change into that and then i really don't have to worry but yeah i wanted i really wanted to do pizza but the girls were requesting something that was a bit more homemade and not as wildly unhealthy as a takeaway pizza so here i am cooking spaghetti and meatballs we've got pudding that is making its way down from london with ellie on the train so just really looking forward to this not me just having an entire photo shoot of my tablescape but guys like <laughs> this is so cute this is your sign to have a fun girly dinner i'm so dead <laughs> i'm actually surprised you like recognize them because some of these are floppy. girl i've seen ones like this <laughs> no i'm joking i have one i have <laughs> Good evening. I'm so overdue a hair wash. You know it's time when like this piece starts coming away from the rest of my hair. I had such a fun evening with the girls. It was so cute. They loved the table situation. They loved the dinner. I love the fun pasta. It was so good. And I got together like all of my beauty bits and like clothes that I wanted to give away and they went to town. It was fabulous. I feel lighter now. <laughs> such a nice evening. Just what I needed. It's been such a nice week this week. So much better than last week. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. This is probably where I'm going to leave you. Before I go, I will keep you updated on the mask situation. I already feel like my skin is looking better and less like red already, but I should start to see like results in just under three weeks time. So I will keep you updated. If you want to pick up the mask for yourself though, don't forget to use my code. I'll pop it on screen again. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope you're all having a great day. Love you. Bye.